Hello everybody, hope you're doing well and welcome to my Caps Commissary Spending Spree. Is there much point to this? I don't know. So, <laughs> look, um, it's basically going to be my final and kind of wrap up video when it comes to, comes to Caps Commissary. Uh, mainly because I haven't, um, well, I've been on vacation, there's a lot of stuff I haven't done that I should have done. So, at the point of starting this video, I'm at 1,990 1, uh, points to the event and... I've still got to purchase some some things, and I will be purchasing them. I need eleven million, um, eleven million gold to buy a lot of the stuff that I need to buy uh, in order to get more points. So some of the main things that I'm going to be uh, buying is and are going to be the following. So uh, first of all, let's kick things off by getting the rank three to rank four gem. Look, a lot of this stuff is there's some good stuff from it, and that's just the thing. I can I can't find any complaints with certain things like getting these rank up gems for gold. It's great because you can save the gold. Uh, well, I can save the gold, but you can you can um, save the items. Sorry, save up the rank up items for um, for Cyber Weekend deals. So they'll just sit there, and then you know you can get some like improvements of things. I've got to open up some stuff to grab a bit of gold because you know I'm not not one hundred percent there with it. I thought I was actually. I thought I'd, I'd actually quickly checked. I should have quickly checked, uh, but I need to get a further two mil. So I just need to quickly open up these, uh, these crystals. Getting gold crystals has been, you know, relatively easy. Doing a little bit of arena grinding has helped, uh, but also doing the 22-hour solo events and getting some of the various different nice items. Uh, am I still low? I'm still low. So just cut the video here for a second until I've got the rest of it. There we go. So I didn't want to be popping over, uh, open a load of crystals and stuff, but there we go. There's the 2.22, whatever it is, mil. And then that's uh, right there. I've got that one. Signature stone wise and this kind of trading thing. Um, Yeah, I think I'm actually going to go for this. I've got four uh, generic awakening gems. I'm just, you know, what's one going to be to me? Nothing. Uh, so that's all that. The seven star crystal bundle side of things. Um, this is a bit of a bone of contention. I will have to make a final decision on this one, but also making a decision as to how close, like, is there any point to me doing this? Will it matter? Those, of course, are going to be um, several, uh, several key questions. Uh, but um, yes, that's, you know, needs an answer. Am I going to do that? So from a point side of things, all those things I've just purchased, it gets me up to 2,300 and 40 points it actually gets me to this selector right here so i can get 30,000 uh six star crystal shards okay cool do you know what? that's look i've not spent a single unit and i think that's the thing what you wanted to achieve out of the caps commissary it's going to be down to you um as a player so i would need to get a further thousand points now that's just the thing isn't it trying to achieve an extra thousand points it's not necessarily going to be possible i'm also not going to um, break a sweat to do it just because there's other stuff I want to do. I've got 100% Act 8.2 before it drops on the 18th of October. I'm probably going to do that over the next couple of days and do my Battlegrounds grind, which I could do some objectives, but uh, it's not... I don't think it's going to... I think it's like too little too late. And as I said, like it's not... I'm not sweating for this. I'm not worried about this. I'm not desperate for this. But I appreciate there's going to be people out there that do want to get this Caps Commissary done. Just the issue I think I've got is that anything further, I would have had to, and it's the biggest point when it comes to the event, is I would either have to have left my alliance to then do my own alliance and do lower map grinding in that particular time frame, blasting through, like, maps myself. Like, so I basically would do all of the fights within that. Yes, I do Battlegrounds. Yes, I do some of the things that I bought just now. But that's what I would have had to have done in order to make this an easier thing for myself. It is. It was possible. I just would have had to done all the objectives for Battlegrounds. I would have had to do all of the stuff. And it was very a case of um, uh, squeaky bum time, as the um, as we say in the UK, when it comes to like down to the wire. It comes very close. And it's like... Do you really want to live with that when it comes to MCC? Is like to to live in such a fine margin of error, and I'm not about that. That's not really my vibe with it. And one of the big things was preparation. As I said, my biggest point about this whole particular event was that um, we had to wait for three different drops of deals and things 
to plan and that is an issue isn't it that, and i'm not about that so for me would it would it like be of any benefit for me to push could i get the amount of points that i kind of need maybe but i'm not spending any units on this particular event i'm, I'm really not Especially because it will cost me just under 20,000 units in order to get uh, the extra 1,050 points in order to get the milestone, um, milestone, the, ma the milestone, milestone, milestone three units, the units milestone. Uh, and I've just got no interest. You know, I'm sure that like it's important to have an interest in this one, but it doesn't interest me at the moment. My focus is saving those nearly. Well, I don't have enough units in any case, uh, but I obviously need 20,000 units. So uh, yes and no. Uh, I, need, I need to spend my way out of it. Uh, am I going to do that? No. Um, but yeah, look, I'm saving my units for Cyber Weekend. That's just what I'm doing. It's up to you what you want to do. It's your account. Run it the way you want. It's my account. I run it the way I am. I, I'm, I'm running it and what I'm doing when I, what I can do. But um, there is still points on the board available. If I do some objectives, some Battlegrounds objectives, I can get 200 points. Maybe a bit more. Possibly not. I think it's just 200 that I've got available to me. But that's just really it. Um, there's no more AQ, so I can't really do anything more with that. Um, but yeah, this is the thing. I want to leave this particular event with a positive. And that positive is the things that I have mentioned. If I still want to get... A seven star crystal from the event. So where is it? The um, uh, what is it? Caps commissary. Yeah. So if I if I want to get the seven star crystal bundle, uh, invest all those six stars, those eleven six star features into that, I can do. That's up to me. I still haven't made the decision. It will probably be a last minute decision whether or not I'm actually going to take my six stars, six star shards, do a six star featured. Uh, opening and invest in that way i kind of think that i'm going to do that mainly because i want to get more options for just spread and that's one of the biggest mistakes i think i could probably make is that if i'm not increasing my roster size by getting some of the new champions and look i could find myself getting in those 11 crystals what could we um let's have a look at this because you've got to look at it from another standpoint and go okay well if i get 11 crystals and go 11, say they're all dupes, 11, da, da. so that means that I could get 3,025 du uh, worth dupes worth of 7 star shards. So that could be a mistake, like, but then I've got to guarantee, like, I don't know if I'm going to get 11 dupes, or am I going to get at least six new champions if i get six new champions that could be beneficial i could have certain champions i want to get to improve elements of my roster from defense from battlegrounds from attack in battlegrounds from just using in questing fun champion options and stuff like that so i need to also consider that if i do this i stand to gain a seven star thumbs up which i could already have the same dupe of it and the pool isn't massive but i get a new seven star but then also the other side of things, I could get a load of new six stars and improve my roster. One new champion, several new champions. It's a tough one. It's a big tough one. Uh, but I'm definitely not spending any units on this event. I'm definitely keeping my units. Uh, and I think that's really it that I've got to say on this event. I think, as we said, Kabam made so many mistakes with this event. I've said why, I feel, uh, you know, I don't need to repeat myself. My issue with this is that you can make more gains if you went and did a, made it your own alliance and just did your own AQ for the week. Uh, you could as well, like you would have been, this was stimulating hoarding in the community, which was not great. That's not something you should ever do. But why not? It's not something you shouldn't, should or shouldn't do is something that Kabam have set, steered away from. So it's hypocritical from Kabam uh, to uh, to force this narrative. And as well, Kabam wanted to mop you out of units before Cyber Weekend. That's the other thing. It's like, okay, players have got you those units. Well, let's give them a load of deals. There were some good deals in it. But at the same time, like, I don't know if I'm interested in spending my units on um you know six star rank up um uh, the six star rank up bundle i did i was actually quite interested in oh wrong thing that um this one here but you know it's i just kind of feel like this was trying to get me um to spend my units and i'm trying to save up for cyber weekend <sighs> gotta get back to the grind when it comes to units uh what we 
seven weeks out. So yeah, lots of work to be done. Uh, that's really it from the video. And this is probably going to be my final Caps commissary based video. As um, yeah, that's really what I've done. As I said, I'm on a no unit tolerance with this particular event. Mainly because, and I think I've said this, the things that were requiring you to spend units do not align well where I am. This is my final point on this. That 11,010 units, which you got as part of the six star shard bundle spend of 250 points, did not align with where I was um, with with this one. Yes, you could. I could have done battlegrounds objectives. Was I able to? No. This all dropped whilst I was taking a vacation, and I'm not going to excessively grind that way. I'm not going to give up my units, and at the same time, I wasn't able to do a, um, battlegrounds. You know, I said why in the uh, I think it was a previous couple of videos. I basically got to try to travel up to get better internet because we had terrible internet. So trying to get connection was just like I was just in timed out stuff, and it just was not. I luckily managed to get a win in two fights, but the third one was just like, no, I can't, I can't do this. This was, this is just too ridiculous. But uh, yeah, in any case, that's been a video. What's your thoughts? Final thoughts on Caps Commissary? As I said, I do like some. Like I'm, I'm not overly complaining. I'm just saying that there's, there's some stuff that was good, like the gold spend for some of the rank up materials. Thumbs up. But the same thing is, that's the gold offers. That's why players love them. That's why we were all hoping for them to regularly return and didn't in 2022 and now technically did this year. It's weird. It's really weird and goes against the hypocritical. It's hypocritical because Kabam said, no, we're not doing them anymore. And no, hoarding bad. So, I don't know. I was just very confused by this event. A um, bit of a sour taste in the mouth, but I scooped up some good stuff. Did you scoop up some good stuff? Did you have a relatively all right time? Put it in the comments section. I'll see you all soon. Have a great one. Bye-bye.